All right, so what does food safety really mean to us? I mean, we have gone over and over and over that it's important, but let's hear it from a professional as to what food safety really is here at our school. Um, we're gonna invite our food service worker, Ms. Bronner. She's gonna talk about what she does, what her position is, and hopefully she can answer some of the questions that you see on the link below. So make sure that you're following along on your handout and answering your questions so then you can submit at the end. All right, let's go guys. Let's interview our food service worker. Hi, I'm Cassandra Bronner. I'm the School Nutrition Manager for Woodstock High School and Woodstock Middle School. I've been with Cherokee County for 15 years and I've been the manager here on the Woodstock campus for 14. Okay, so we're going to hear some questions um, and try to get some answers that are on our list. So let's look at the beginning. It says, what policies do we have in place for your team to prevent food contamination? Our biggest policy is to wash your hands. All of our ladies wash their hands before they put on gloves and after they take off gloves. So that being said, gloves are a requirement too. We have to wear gloves, we have to wear hair nets, we have to now wear face coverings. So all of that is to help prevent food contamination. Great, so what are some food handling precautions and practices um, that are required, I guess, just what you just said is the same. Okay, uh, moving on, it says, how do we order food for our school and how do we receive food from companies? Okay, every school year, the CCSD produces a bid and different food companies like Cisco, US Foods, um, anybody that is a food distributor can apply to be on that bid. And then the school district takes the best value, the best company that can service our needs. We like to produce um, by only US for U.S. products, no foreign products. Um, they have to uh, be under a specific food guideline and health and wellness guideline also. Good. Um, just as a side note, can the students ever make suggestions on what to prepare for food? Yes, we're always looking for suggestions, especially at the end of the year for the next school year. Um, you can always let us know in the cafeteria. You can email me or my uh, the school nutrition director, her name is Tina Farmer. She is the one that is ultimately responsible for all the menus. Now, how do we prepare any foods, or I'm sorry, do we prepare any foods from scratch on a weekly basis? Anything that's all natural? Yes, all of our salad dressings are all homemade and all natural. Um, the Italian, the Thousand Island, and the ranch, we prepare fresh about two or three times a week because I don't like to keep that stuff. And we, of course, we always have a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. Also, storing food properly is always important. What kinds of things are in place for your team? Uh, my team follows the food ladder in the cooler. That means ready to eat food is on top, and then um, all the way on the bottom would be any raw chicken. We don't have any raw products in the cafeteria. All of our meat comes in already partially cooked, so we don't ever have to worry about contamination that way. Okay. Overall, what is the final day cleanup look like? The final day cleanup is a bunch of scrubbing, mopping, and sanitizing. We scrub the floors, we scrub all the tables, and sanitize everything. The serving lines, the water in the serving line gets changed every day. The serving lines are cleaned and sanitized, and everything is put away for us to start again tomorrow morning. And last but not least, what could our students do better as a customer in our cafeterias? We love serving our students every day. We like to see you at breakfast and lunch. The biggest thing you could do to help us out is take out your earbuds. The AirPods are just the lunch lady's nightmare because we can't hear you and you can't hear us. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. We'd love to have you back again and learn some more about what your day is like. Great, it's very interesting. I'd be glad to see every kid at lunch and breakfast. Okay guys, that was so neat and so interesting to find out um, what our food service workers actually have to do on a daily basis. I hope to learn more. Um, maybe we can take a field trip back there or something just to actually see what it's all about. And um, hopefully you had fun. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you submit your answers on Canvas. Bye.